What's up everyone, Jay Smith Jordan's here with another sneaker unboxing, but before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to the channel, follow me on uh, Instagram and Twitter at Jay Smith Jordan's, and give this video a like if you like it. And I definitely want to say that I'm very thankful for all the subscribers and the support that I've been getting on my Instagram and YouTube. Uh, I definitely do appreciate all of you guys. So I want to be doing a Jordan 1 giveaway. As soon as this channel hits a thousand subscribers, we'll be doing a Jordan 1 giveaway. And I'll let the winner pick between a couple different colorways in your size. But uh, once we get closer to a thousand subscribers, I'll give you guys more details about it. But we're definitely going to be doing a uh, Jordan 1 giveaway when we hit a thousand subscribers on this channel so make sure that you're subscribed to the channel tell your buddies about it so they can subscribe to the channel and we can get uh, the thousand subscribers hopefully by August but now let's get into the sneaker box and it's in front of me <clears throat> as you see it's got a bunch of uh, pictures of Jordan on it of his just classic pictures and of uh, his retro cards same thing on the top more pictures you have your uh, jump man in the middle of it on the bottom is pretty much just a uh, black box for the label it reads size 12 personal pair and it's an air jordan 5 retro and the color is uh navy and armel armello and uh suggested retail on this was 225 so let's open her up take a look at her they gave us that black uh tissue paper Underneath that you have your white tissue paper and there's the sneakers so let's get them out and take a look at them. Here they are your Jordan 5 uh, Michigan. These are pretty nice I like them the material is really nice on it, it does have some uh, premium new buck on it. Uh, yeah I like them. Michigan's not my favorite team but I definitely like Jordan's so that's why I have the sneakers. I'm from Ohio so definitely uh, I'm a Buckeyes fan but I like uh, Jordan's more than I do uh, Michigan so that's why I have them in my collection. Plus uh, I mean Jordan did a great job on these if you ask me. It's something different. It's a yellow, it's a yellow sneaker and I don't have very many yellow sneakers in my collection so I'm happy to put these in the collection especially since I already have the uh, Jordan 12 Michigans that they dropped which you see right here behind you but yeah these are fire so let's take a look at them put one to the side on the outer sole you have your Jordan 5 translucent and it's and you got your jump man in the middle of it It has a navy uh, bottom there with the uh, name Jordan going across it going up from there on your midsole it's a blue color with your hit of yellow on the shark teeth and it actually has uh, little specks of uh, blue navy blue into it awesome so that's really nice and then on the upper like I said they gave us this premium uh, new buck material that pretty much wraps around the whole sneaker it definitely changes colors when you uh, run your finger across it these are really nice they really did a great job on the material on the side you have your translucent screen or translucent netting with a navy uh, behind with a navy color behind it on the eyelids up here you have your uh, hits of navy on the back of the heel instead of giving us the jump man they they gave us uh, a pat, pretty much a uh, Team Jordan patch. And as you can see, I like really how they showed how it's stitched on there on the side right there. That's really nice. I definitely like that. I do like the patch on here, something different compared to just having the jump man on it. And the patch, let me grab the other sneaker. And the patch does read uh, Team Jordan, quality products inspired by the greatest basketball player ever. And the inspiration from the sneaker was pretty much was college kids going back to school also. It's just they happen to put it in the Michigan colorway. Then on the inside of the sneaker you have your uh, translucent netting again and a little bit of uh, hits of your uh, yellow with uh, specks of navy in there on the midsole. Going to the tongue it has a, a navy blue tongue and then it has the translucent screen running all the way up the tongue until it hits up here to the 3M. And then at the top of the tongue, you have your Jumpman logo. And like I said, the top of the tongue is definitely a 3M, which I should have a picture up so you guys can see it as it is 3M. And then for your lace lock, it's got your translucent lace lock uh, holder. And then the lace lock, lace lock itself is that uh, navy blue, and it has a yellow Jumpman on it, which I'll put a picture of that up also so you guys can see that in a closer view. But yeah, these are really nice. Like I said I'm not a Michigan fan at all but I definitely like these and uh one other thing also on the inside of this uh, sneaker, the inside is wrapped with some really nice material. It's not like your uh, any other Jordan that I've seen before. It kind of reminds me of the Jordan 6's 
uh, DBs, how they did the inside of those really nice. It definitely has a real nice uh, fabric material on the inside of it, which I'll see if I can get some pictures of it, which you can see right there how it's different. Then on the back of the tongue, it has the word inspire. Like I said, it's for the kids, college kids and, every, and students going back to uh, school. I hate to call them kids because they're students, but uh, yeah, it has Inspire on both the uh, back of the tongues. And both sneakers does have the bat the patch on the back of it also on the heel. But yeah, I mean, quality wise, I, uh, quality on material, I would give this an 8 out of a 10. It's really nice. It's very clean. The stitching on the sneaker is very clean. I don't have no glue stains at all. It's just a real nice sneaker. And especially if you're a Michigan fan, you definitely really want to pick these up. Or even if you just want a yellow sneaker in your uh, collection, and these are really nice. Uh, 225 is pretty steep, but I would rather pay a higher premium and get a nicer sneaker than pay 190 to 20 30 bucks less and get some shitty leather or some crappy material on it so that's just me so i hope you guys enjoyed the review and uh yeah let me know if you guys picked them up let me know if you guys like them and like i said make sure you subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and twitter at jsmithjordans and i'll definitely see you guys on the next one stay safe